Ang susunod na programa ay Rated G. Ito ay pwede sa lahat ng manonood. Hypothetical syllogism. Hypothetical syllogism, these are syllogisms by which the major premise is a hypothetical proposition. Kinds of hypothetical syllogism. 1. The conditional syllogism, if, then. 2. The disjunctive syllogism, either, or. 3. The conjunctive syllogism, not both. N. Conditional syllogism, if, then. It is syllogism whose major premise, MP, is a conditional proposition. The minor premise, MP, is a categorical statement, which either affirms the antecedent or negates the consequent. Example, if it rains, then the ground is wet, but, it rained. Therefore, the ground is wet. If it rains, then the ground is wet, is the major premise, where, the if clause, is the antecedent, and, the then clause, is the consequent but it rained, is the minor premise. Therefore, the ground is wet, is the conclusion. Rules. The minor premise should not be negative. The antecedent must be before the consequent in the major premise. Kinds of conditional syllogism. 1. Pure conditional syllogism. It is a conditional syllogism whose major and minor premise are conditional propositions. The condition in the minor premise must be retained. If A, then B. If A is B, then C is D. If E, then A. If E is G, then A is B. If E, then B. If E is G, then C is D. Example 1. If the oppressor is a distorted person, then, he accounts for a state of misery. But, if the oppressor sustains chronic hate, then he is a distorted person. So, if the oppressor sustains chronic hate then he accounts for a state of misery. Example 2. If you are a good Christian, then you love your neighbor. But, if you pray fervently, then you are a good Christian. So, if you pray fervently, then you love your neighbor. 2. Mixed conditional syllogism, is a conditional syllogism, the major premise is a conditional proposition, but the minor premise and conclusion are categorical propositions. Example, if Danica is dead, then she is not breathing. But, Danica is dead. Therefore, she is not breathing. Valid moods or forms of the conditional syllogism. 1. First form, modus ponens or positing, accepting, affirming, asserting, process. This form affirms the antecedent in the minor premise. The consequent is also affirmed in the conclusion. The truth of the antecedent implies the truth of the consequent. Rule. To affirm or posit the antecedent is to affirm or posit the consequent, but to deny the antecedent is not to deny the consequent. Positing or affirming the consequent first before the antecedent is unwarranted, or, affirm the antecedent in the minor premise, then affirm the consequent in the conclusion. Example, if we advocate ethical values, then our personality will be transformed, but, we advocate ethical values. Therefore, our personality will be transformed. The above argument is valid because it affirmed the antecedent in the second or minor premise. Therefore, it can deduce the conclusion. Invalid mood of the conditional syllogism, modus ponens. Affirm the consequent, then affirm the antecedent. Example, if there is mutuality of order and dignity then there is eccentricity in vegetarianism and in movements for animal rights. But there is eccentricity in vegetarianism and in movements for animal rights. So, there is mutuality of order and dignity. 
Violation of this rule is called fallacy of accepting, positing, asserting, affirming, the consequent. This is committed when the consequent is affirmed in the minor premise. Example, if the patient has meningococcemia, then he is seriously sick, but, the patient is seriously sick, so, the patient has meningococcemia, valid moods or forms of the conditional syllogism, 2, second form, modus tollens or excluding, negating, sublating, denying, this form denies the consequent, the falsity of the consequent implies the falsity of the antecedent, the truth of the consequent is dependent upon the antecedent, rule, to negate the consequent is to negate the antecedent but to affirm the consequent is not to affirm the antecedent. Sublating the antecedent first before the consequent is unwarranted, or, negate consequent in the minor premise, then negate antecedent in the conclusion. Example, 1. If he is a competent individual, then he is not blundering, but, he is blundering, therefore, he is not a competent individual. 2. If it rains unceasingly, then the river will overflow, but, the river will not overflow, so, it will not rain unceasingly. Violation of this rule is called fallacy of negating, rejecting, sublating, denying, the antecedent. This is committed when the antecedent is denied in the minor premise, invalid mood of the conditional syllogism, modus tollens, negate the antecedent, then negate the consequent, example. If you have acute appendicitis, you are very sick, but you do not have acute appendicitis. Therefore, you are not very sick. Disjunctive syllogism, either, or, it is a hypothetical syllogism whose major premise, MP, is a disjunctive proposition. The minor premise, MP, is a categorical proposition which either affirms one alternative of the disjunctive is true, or negates alternatives, except one is false, in the latter case, the conclusion affirms the remaining alternatives as true. A disjunctive proposition presents various alternatives and affirms that one of them is true. It is sometimes known as an alternative proposition. Strict disjunctive, only one alternative is true and the others are false. If all the alternatives except one are false, the remaining alternative must be true, and if one member is true, the remaining alternative must be false. Example, the president is either in Baguio, Cebu or in Manila, but the president is in Baguio. Therefore, the president is neither in Cebu nor in Manila. Broad disjunctive, at least one member is true but more than one may be true. Example, it is either winter, spring, summer or fall, but it is neither winter nor spring. Therefore, it is either summer or fall kinds of disjunctive syllogism. 1. Purely disjunctive syllogism, is a disjunctive syllogism whose major premise, minor premise, and conclusion are all disjunctive propositions. 2. Mixed disjunctive syllogism, is a disjunctive syllogism whose major premise is a disjunctive proposition. The minor premise and the conclusion are categorical. 3. Disjunctive syllogism in the strict sense, proper sense, the major premise must be a disjunctive proposition in the strict sense. The minor premise affirms or negates one, or more, but not all, of the members of the major premise. The conclusion must follow the following possible procedures. A. If the minor premise affirms one or more alternatives of the major premise, the conclusion must negate each of the other alternatives. B. If the minor premise negates one or more of the alternatives of the major premise, the conclusion affirms the remaining alternatives, one of which must be true. If more than one alternative remains, the conclusion must be a disjunctive proposition in the strict sense. 4. Disjunctive syllogism in the broad sense, improper sense. The major premise is a disjunctive proposition in the broad sense or improper sense. The only valid mood is to negate one, or more, but not all of the alternatives in the minor premise and affirm the remaining alternative, or alternatives, in the conclusion. If more than one alternative remains, the conclusion itself must be a disjunctive proposition in the broad sense. Valid moods of the disjunctive syllogism. 1. Modus penendo tolendo or the positing, excluding process. 
the minor premise may affirm any of the alternatives, and the conclusion may negate the other as a consequence or simply a negation of the other member in the minor premise. Rule. If one alternative of the disjunctive proposition is true and affirmed, then the others are false and must be negated. Violation of this rule is called fallacy of negating the alternative first, in the minor premise, or fallacy of sublate posit or fallacy of talendo ponens. This is committed when the alternative, or alternatives, are negated in the minor premise. Example. First form, affirming the minor premise the first alternative given in the major premise. A is either B or non B, but A is B therefore, A is not non B. Example. Second form, affirming in the minor premise the other alternative given in the major premise. A is either B or non B, but A is non B, therefore, a is not be in valid mood, negating the alternative in the minor premise. A the accused is guilty or innocent, but the accused is guilty, therefore, he is not innocent. B the oppressor is either a minor or an adult, but the oppressor is a minor, therefore, he is not an adult. Valid moods of the disjunctive syllogism. 2. Modus talendo ponens or the excluding, positing process. The minor premise is always a negation and the conclusion is always an affirmation. It is affirming by negating, that is, affirming the conclusion, ponens, by means of negation in the minor premise, talens, rule. If one alternative of the disjunctive proposition, major premise is false and denied, then, either one of the remaining is true and must be affirmed. If all the alternatives of the disjunctive, except one are false, then this one is true. Example. First form, negating in the minor premise the first alternative given in the major premise. A is either B or C but A is not B so, A is C example. Second form, negating in the minor premise the second or other alternative given in the major premise. A is either B or C but A is not C so, A is B violation of this rule is called fallacy of affirming the alternative, alternatives, first, in the minor premise, or fallacy of posit, sublate or fallacy of penendo talens, this is committed when the alternative or alternatives is are affirmed in the minor premise. Example, a either Donnie is gorgeous or untidy, but Donnie is not gorgeous, thus, he is untidy, b the water is hot or warm or cold, but the water is neither hot nor cold, thus, the water is warm, conjunctive syllogism, not both. N, it is a syllogism whose major premise is a conjunctive proposition. Kinds of conjunctive syllogism. 1. Pure conjunctive, a conjunctive syllogism whose proposition are all conjunctive. 2. Mixed conjunctive, a conjunctive syllogism whose major premise is a conjunctive proposition but the minor premise and the conclusion are both categorical. Valid mood of the conjunctive syllogism. Modus penendo talens. Posit one conjunct in the minor premise and sublate negate the other, s, in the conclusion, rule, if one alternative is true and posited then the others are false and must be denied, if one alternative is false and denied then the others may be true or false, the conclusion is doubtful, example, calamity victims cannot be both dead and alive, but, calamity victims are dead, therefore, they are not alive. A thing cannot both be and not be at the same time. It negates the simultaneous possibility of two alternatives. Violation to the rule is called the fallacy of sublate posit or fallacy of talendo ponens or fallacy of negating the alternative first in the minor premise. Invalid mood of the conjunctive syllogism. Example. Calamity victims cannot be both dead and alive. But, calamity victims are not dead. Therefore, they are alive. This project is presented to Miss Andrea Monica or Barbasa, subject teacher in humanities 2.